So per request, this is how I built my pantry. Uh, for this area here, I'm gonna have a pullout. So I mounted two drawer slides and I just used self-tapping screws that were low enough to clear the um, to clear the uh, this thing when it closes. So now I'm going to build a box that'll fit in here all the way down to probably about here and then that'll slide out and then I'll make another box down here for just a, a thin storage. All right, so here I'm building a pantry, a pull-out pantry. Um, here's my shelves. This is half-inch plywood on, this side, on the shelves. Okay, so here's my pantry. So I'm going to have a large space down here, a medium space, and then two smaller spaces. These are about can-sized. Um, so basically just three quarter inch plywood and I pocket hold it and glued it. So if you glue it and pocket hole it, you'll have a really strong connection. Uh, the back is just um, half inch plywood. And then half inch here. And then the same along this side right here. Um, I've already fit it in the van and it works. So now my next step is to edge band it. So I see a lot of uh, builds where they're just um, leaving the plywood edge exposed. I personally don't care for that look. So this is edge banding. It's available at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, this one's in white birch. It's a little darker, but I'm going to paint these anyway, so that's okay. And basically you just need an iron and uh, you lay it on there, iron it on, and then let it sit. And then you come back with a trimmer. Here's a trimmer. And it just slices it off right at the, the edge of the plywood. Um, I'm not going to edge band the insides of these, just the tops. And then once these are, are edge banded, we're going to paint everything, um, excluding these grooves here. And then I'm going to glue these in. So here I did NATO cuts. Um, just a, you can do it with a table saw, you can do it with a uh, router, or you can do it with a um, track saw or, or a circular saw. You just need a, a straight edge and then you just make it just wide enough for your plywood to sit in there. And that'll, that'll give you a much stronger shelf than if you were to just screw it in to the flat, you know, flat on the plywood. So like right here, if I just did flat like that and then screwed it in, that would be a much weaker joint than this because the plywood itself is providing downward support onto that uh, that shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and ed edge band that, and uh, we'll come back. Okay, so here's a piece of of uh, plywood that I'm going to edge band. Um, this is half inch. These are made for three quarter, but it'll still work. Um, just get an iron. You don't need steam. Uh, set it for cotton, according, according to the back of the instructions. That's what they say. And then just kind of press it on. And then guide it straight to your uh, to the other end. I usually do a little overhang. So that's actually. Do a little bit of an overhang on it. There's a glue that's underneath and when you heat it up with the iron it's basically going to the wood. I'm just going to let that cool off. So after that's cool, I'm going to come in with a, um, a blade. So 
in this case just a box cutter and I'm just going to kind of run it up along the wood try and get the blade as even as possible it doesn't have to be perfect because we can always sand this So there I just scored it and then pushed it over the edge. So now it's a little bit rough, but I'm just going to come in with a sander and uh, clean up the edge. And there you go. Okay, so here's the final product, edge banded. Shelves are all edge banded. Um, I'm going to put these in uh, last because we're going to paint them. Um, and then I'll glue them in and maybe screw, I don't know. Probably just glue. But yeah, so it really uh, changes the look. I mean, that's, that's the plywood edge there. That's the edge band there. This will be um, hidden behind a cover plate. So. Okay, so here it is all painted. Um, my wife used a Erlix um, paint sprayer, and I'll put a link to that down below. Um, basically, it's just attached with some drywall screws through here, right into this wood. And this is just a piece of, uh, I think it's maple. I had a big long maple board so I figured I'd use that and I use the bottom half for the, the door down there. Um, for these shelves I didn't actually wind up gluing them in there. The friction fit with the paint was enough to keep them from coming out easily. They don't move much. Uh, you really got to pull on them to get them out. Um, I bought these uh, for holding stuff inside. I think down in these these bigger cabinets I may do like a bungee as well because I don't want stuff like falling when it's tucked in back there. So to install these rails, what I did is I made a little template. Uh, I took the rail itself and then I marked where I wanted it. This is the same size as my shelf. So that fits in there like that. And um, so then I drilled on here and I placed it in there to make sure it was a good fit. And then I used, since my shelf itself is half inch plywood, I just used a piece of half inch plywood and then stuck this on top of it. And I drilled down to the depth that I wanted and then I marked my drill bit with painter's tape. And so then when it came time to drill here, I just stick this inside and place it up against the edge of the shelf and I drill in. And that gives me my location for all of my... I uh, rails.